chain and he really does use that curve sparks flying from underneath her. Yeah, he's very aggressive across there. I remember a few years ago when Joe Bernardi arrived in the in the championship and took a couple of sumps off the engine by uh, cutting across the, the curves. But he, he continues to do so, but uh, I, I genuinely think he's fairly happy sitting here and it'll be a great result for Jackson and for Kane if they can pull off this one-two. I tell you what, I, I almost don't want to start talking about it for Steve McCain and for Motorbase, but it would be their first ever podium finish, and if ever a team deserves it, the amount of work that they've put in, uh, not just this year, but in previous seasons, it would be wonderful. Well, let's not get too excited, we're not at the end Well, yet. I'll just say, if he does do it, it'll be sponge cakes all round from David Bartram. <laughs> wonderful stuff. Well, let's just keep fingers crossed, uh, but we've still got a couple of laps to go here. We're on six, lap 16 out of 18 here. Tom Shilton on a bit of a charge, maybe putting a mounting attack on Colin in Turkington. Turkington in sixth place hasn't quite been able to match the sort of pace of the BMWs that are leading this one. Of course they had the advantage at the start. They were on the reverse grid. They were up near the front anyway. They used their rear wheel drive advantage at the start very, very effectively. And Matt Jackson, when he gets in front, as you said to him, he, he loves it. That's where he wants to be controlling a race. Stephen Kane and Jim and Arnie both bounce over the curve there at the first part of Russell. And Stephen Kane doing a good job so far. Not being rattled by uh, seeing his mirrors filled by the reigning champion and points leader as they come around. Complete another lap, that's just two laps to go now. Well, there's a theory that the, the third race of the day is the easiest race to uh, to do well in because of the reverse grid and the ballast, but uh, you have to work the system, you still have to uh, deliver the goods, and certainly Matt Jackson and uh, Stephen Kane with their fabulous starts off the line uh, got them into this position. Yeah, Stephen Kane, I mean, he's keeping pace with Matt Jackson absolutely solidly here. There's no real difference between the two of them. He was actually a fraction quicker on that last lap, and here's Turkington versus Tom Chilton. Chilton's got to try and keep it clean. He had a little bit of contact in that race, the second race in particular. So Giovinardi was a bit upset about it, but uh, it all settled down and Giovinardi was able to recover from it. But here's Chilton on a track he knows and loves and in seventh, wanting that sixth place and trying to get past the BMW. Listen to the revs as he goes down that gearbox. The car virtually on the rev limiter, using the engine as much as possible to slow it down, but without over revving it. Yeah, very important, that part of the circuit. Uh, it under control, but Turkington using all the curb and a bit of grass there into Corum, and look how close Chilton is, oh, almost touching at one of the fastest sections of the circuit, and Adam Jones is right there with him, looking for a little way past as well. Yeah, Chilton got a bit too close at the wrong point there, Hit, uh, came up behind him on the apex, rather carrying the momentum to the exit, but they're on to the last lap now, Turkington has got one more lap to hang on to... Uh, uh, to that sixth place if possible. Up front, Giovinardi not close to the first two, but Stephen Payne actually putting pressure on Jackson, and uh, he's been quicker for the last two laps. There's Turner pulling out of the way. He's hobbling round to the finish. Yeah, and Jackson will actually kicked up the uh, dust and the grass on the exit of the seat. He is under pressure from Stephen Kane. Released from Giovinardi, Stephen Kane fancies his chances a little bit. Down under the bridge they go. Jackson's still in front at the moment. I think Stephen Kane will only sort of go for it if presented a big opportunity, because he will not want to throw away a second place finish but Matt Jackson controls it through the bomb hole they've now got just two corners to go basically the fast sweeping quorum corner no problems through there and then down to the final right left that's the Russell chicane and it's Matt Jackson that's heading for victory Stephen K jumps over the curve into that one Matt Jackson's going to come through to take his second victory of 2008 but it's a first ever podium finish for the motivated performance team. Stephen Kane takes second. Giovinardi a fine third for Vauxhall. Fourth place and fifth are going to go to Vauxhall as well with that Vectra. Very strong in the final race of the day. Colin Turkington I think is just about going to hold on to six. Yes he does from Chilton Jones, Stephen Jelly in the points this time and Rob Collard. But congratulations to Matt Jackson. The fourth win of his career and just when he needed it after such a tough time in the first two races of the day. Matt Jackson takes victory, but a fantastic second place for Stephen Kane, the 28-year-old from Northern Ireland, driving for the motorbase team, the Rutum in Kent based team that have worked so hard in British touring cars over the last couple of seasons. Many congratulations to them. They fully deserve that podium.
but sitting there in third and racking up the points once again it's that Italian Fabrizio Giovinardi yeah his weekend started off terribly with a lot of unreliability and problems um, but it's come good for him the team uh, VX Racing they've really delivered on the day today um, and what could have been such a strong weekend for Sayet has really been marred by the uh, the non-finishes in the last race but the championship will still go on and I'll guarantee he'll go down to the wire picking up lots of uh, dirt and muck on his tyres on purpose there Matt Jackson he doesn't want to fail the ride height test clearly yeah it does two things actually it picks up a lot of rubber on the tyres which raises the ride height yeah and also uh, increases the weight good stuff right <laughs> thank you Tim Matt Jackson race winner from Stephen Kane in second place and motivates his first ever podium Giovinardi third Matt Neal fourth and also Cole fifth look at that BX Racing getting a great result Team RSE had their man in sixth Colin Turkington seventh for Tom Shilton and Jones in eighth place ahead of Stephen Jelly with Rob Collard in tenth place in the other motivated car and then are just outside the points John George good result for him though ahead of Michael Doyle again the youngster doing brilliantly well Jason Hughes 13th Eckert and Martin Bell 14th and 15th Harry Volkart had that problem as we saw Darren Turner and Jason Plato in big trouble and Gordon Shedden and Andrew Jordan, I'm afraid, also out of the race. I've got Matt Jackson for you here. Um, obviously, he got his win at Rockingham. You were oh so close at Croft, and now you've done it again. This is what it's all about. Absolutely, yeah. We've had a, a tough time. We've been in the barriers uh, at about 110 mile an hour. So, uh, you know, for everybody in the team, it's um, it, you know, it's great. You know, to start the weekend on, on such a low, to end it on such a high. It's uh, you know, all the guys in the team have done a, a fantastic job. Let's uh, go through the start because uh, that's where it all matters, isn't it? You've got to get a good start and stay out the front, especially when you've got people hot on your tail. Sure, yeah, it's you know the start is so key, and uh, we didn't actually get that good a one. Uh, Stephen got a bit of a better one, and uh, he looked down the inside at this point, and thought, well, you're not going to have it that easy. It's so early. Um, we're on the marbles, and the car was a bit sideways. I thought, right, he's going to set it up into uh, into Sia, but uh, we managed to hold it, and I think really that was the key to the race. It's uh, you know the cars are so close out there, and. The, the, the key is the start for sure, especially with the, you know the BMW rear wheel drive. It's it's fantastic. We've just got Stephen Kane just sliding in beside you here. We're going to talk to him in a second. How much pressure was he putting you under? For sure, yeah, no, he was uh, he was there. He made very few mistakes. Um, I think I was making a lot more mistakes than what Stephen was. And um, yeah, he, you know, he put the pressure on. There was no uh, there was no way we could uh, sort of ease off. At one point, I thought, yeah, we're, we're pulling a, a nice gap here, and um, all of a sudden he. Uh, Fan full throttle, and, uh, and we saw you make a little mistake at the last lap as well. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, you know obviously it's so uh, everybody's so on the limit out there. It's uh, you know the pace of the motor based car this weekend has been um, been awesome, and uh, I think they're going to be a bit of a danger, unfortunately, for the rest of the season. <laughs>